after you've prioritized your objectives, it's time to find and present relevant data. That is, link after you've looked. See, your stakeholders need to see how the data being presented is relevant to the situation at hand, the issue being addressed, the flaw being remediated, the defect being reported, the concern being discussed, or the problem being resolved. As you present and link the data, it's important to consider the four V's of big data, namely volume, velocity, variety, and veracity. This conceptualization you see on the screen has been put forth by IBM data scientists a number of years ago as four dimensions or characteristics that make big data, uh, well, <laughs> big data, okay? First of all, volume. That is, how much data do you have? I mean, these days it's measured in terabytes, petabytes, zottabytes, and whatever bytes, you know, exponentially larger than the kilobytes and megabytes that were around when I first started off as an IT professional years and years ago. Reuters has estimated that the world's storage of data will continue to increase by 50% every year. And the sheer volume, even with a moderately sized organization, requires a huge amount of processing power to analyze and gain insight from. Second B is velocity. And that can be expressed in a couple of ways. The, the speed at which the data is coming at you or being generated, and also the rate at which it's being consumed. Uh, think of video streaming, streaming services like Amazon Prime, Netflix, Hulu, and others that, along with their customers, must rely on the availability of massive bandwidth for the transmission and also discrete processing for analysis. Hey, the same thing goes for commodities, stock trading, tre credit card sales, and other instant transactional-based industries in which the, the speed and timeliness of capture is critical for nailing down patterns and making predictions. For example, in the first two months of 2021, more than 7.6 billion shares were traded every single day. <laughs> Imagine how, much individual, how many individual transactions it would take each day to generate that massive amount of activity. The third V is variety, and that is, what are the different sources of data available? How complex are they? I alluded to this a little bit when I talked about volume. Okay, traditional data sources fit pretty nicely into structures like relational databases, and even when they're voluminous, they're relatively straightforward to extract, analyze, and report on. But then again, there's the unstructured data like images, audio files, video files, and so on. You know, the more complex, the complex stuff that goes way beyond traditional storage and traditional analysis. Here's how Jason Williamson, assistant professor at the University of Virginia, put it. Look at this. One of the goals of big data is to use technology to take this unstructured data and make sense of it. The fourth V is variety. Is this data trustworthy? Can you count on it to be true? Now, here's something to consider. With the usual business analytics where volume and you know, variety is smaller, the organization tends to have greater control over the data. And as a result, there's gonna be greater veracity. But with big data, on the other hand, with greater volume and variety comes a greater likelihood of uncertainty. I'm not implying dishonesty, it's just the nature of the beast that comes with the introduction with more and more unstructured data. Inside Big Data web publisher, Stephanie Ellers warns, what kind of noise and abnormality do you have to deal with? 